Hi everybody, we are going to talk about fractions. Remember fractions? A fraction is a number that has a top number and a bottom number. I'm going to say two at the top and three at the bottom, okay? And the numbers represent something. So first though, before I tell you what they represent, this is called a numerator. The number at the top is called a numerator. The number at the bottom is called the denominator. Before we go any further, I need to show you what those words mean in Google Translate. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but in Arabic, bust al-raqam al maqam al-raqam al Okay, Bangla, here we go. And Vietnamese, top number and then bottom number. Okay, numerator, denominator. Okay, so what is this number? This is my son's pizza getting ready to be cooked. Um, this number represents the whole thing. So if I had my son's pizza pie, I'm dividing it into three parts, right? So there's one, two, three. This is all of the parts. This doesn't look very good, but they're all supposed to be equal parts. Like they can't be this is much bigger and this is smaller. It's got to all be equal, same size, right? So let's do a rectangle. You'd go, right? One, two, three. One part is called a third. A third, right? Because it's one out of three right okay so um i do want to mention one more thing about what these numbers represent so this is the whole all of it whole this is the part we are talking about whole and part so, this third is a part, little bit, of the whole thing. Let's go back to our number. Oops, I guess I didn't have those numbers showing. Online teaching is hard. Okay, so this is part of it, right? So, I want to look at the pizza, and I want to shade. What do I shade? Two out of the three, right? Look at this one. What would I shade? One, two, right? Okay, let's talk about our assignment for this week. Oh, let me show you the translation. This is for Arabic, whole and part. Can we see it? Juzu or common. Vietnamese, part, and whole, the whole thing. Um, sorry, that was Bangla. Vietnamese, part and whole. So I'm gonna be making a lot of mistakes because I'm learning about online school just like you are. Here's our assignment, okay? Here's our assignment for this week. And I think it looks too big. Let me try to make it small. Let me pause. Okay, this is our assignment, which is not showing up very well. I think it's better now, though. Okay. So, um, there we go. Okay. It says to look at this number. It's a fraction, right? And tell me, is the number 5 a numerator or a denominator? Is the number four a numerator or a denominator? If you draw a shape showing four out of five, 
how many total, the whole thing, equal parts would you draw? How many parts would you divide it to? If you draw a shape showing four out of five, how many parts would you shade to show four out of five? So how many parts would you shade? You decide if you're going to do four or five. How many equal parts would you draw? Would you draw four equal parts or five equal parts? Okay, number five. What does the number four show us? Number four here. Number four, is it part or whole? You have to tell me. Is it part of it or the whole thing? Okay, what does the number five show us? Part or the whole thing? A little bit of it or the whole thing? All right, let's do an example. Ready? Okay, I'm going to give you a number. All right, we're going to do three out of five. Okay, I hope you can see it. This is the numerator, number up top. This is the denominator. Okay, this is part, a little bit of the whole thing. This is whole, the whole thing, the whole pizza, the whole square, divided into five parts. Let's draw a rectangle. How many parts would you divide it to? Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And, you know, I'm trying to make them look equal, right? How many parts would you shade? You'd shade three parts. This is an example of how to do your assignment. Okay, I hope it helped. See you next time.